Stoichiometry deals with the relationship between the reactants and products. This could be a very confusing part of chemistry and, indeed all of future chemistry. Our approach simplifies the limiting and excess reactants calculations. Sure, you will enjoy this video. To get notifications on new uploads, subscribe for free, free and free. Aspartame is an artificial sweetener, which has a molecular formula as shown. Calculate the molar mass of aspartame. Mass in kilograms of 1.56 mole of aspartame. Molecules in 5.0 milligram of aspartame. Total number of atoms of nitrogen in 1.2 gram of aspartame. Solution. Atomic masses are as follows. Carbon equals 12.01. Hydrogen equals 1.008. Nitrogen equals 14.01 and oxygen equals 16. Molar mass of aspartame is calculated by multiplying the atomic masses with the respective atoms in the chemical formula of aspartame. The molar mass is 294 gram per mole. Calculate the mass of aspartame in kilograms of 1.56 moles. To find mass of aspartame, we multiply number of moles by molar mass of aspartame. It is evident that mole cancels with mole, leaving gram only. To convert gram to kilogram, we divide mass in grams by a 1000 grams per kilogram. The mass is 0.459 kilograms. To calculate the molecules in 5.0 mg of aspartame, the first thing is to convert milligram to gram, which is 5 times 10 to the power negative 3. The second step is to change mass to moles by dividing mass with molar mass. We also know that one mole of substance has 6.02 times 10 to the power 23 molecules. In calculating the total number of atoms of nitrogen in 1.2 grams of aspartame, the steps are Change mass to moles Change moles to molecules And we know that, one molecule of aspartame has two atoms of nitrogen. The factor method is a very simple way of performing calculations in chemistry. Question 2. Dichlorodiphenyl trichloroethane, DDT, was first synthesized in 1874. This insecticide is harmful to fish, birds and humans and is produced by the following reaction, as shown. In a government lab, 1142 grams of chlorobenzene is reacted with 485 grams of chloral. Calculate the molar masses of chlorobenzene and chloral. Find the moles of chlorobenzene and chloral in the given masses. Identify which reactant is limiting and in excess. Justify your answer. What mass of DDT is formed, assuming 100% yield? What mass of excess reactant is left over? If the actual yield of DDT is 200 grams, what is the percent yield? This part shows calculations of molar masses and number of moles of chlorobenzene and chloral. The approach remains the same, as earlier discussed. Multiply atoms by respective atomic masses. Identify which reactant is limiting and in excess. Justify your answer. Use the easiest method ever, to find limiting and excess reactant, from mole fraction. Draw the table as shown. Indicate the reactants in the reaction. Divide the moles by respective coefficients, 
coming from balanced chemical equation. From the table, you can see that the limiting reactant is chloral with 3.29 moles compared to 5.075 moles of chlorobenzene. Excess reactant is chlorobenzene with a larger number of moles at 5.075 moles. Question 2 Part D. What mass of DDT is formed assuming 100% yield? The amount of DDT produced, depends on the limiting reactant, which is chloral. The mole ratio of chloral to DDT is as shown. Therefore, moles of DDT equals moles of chloral, which is equal to 3.29 moles. First, calculate the molar mass of DDT. Molar mass of DDT equals 354.46 gram per mole. Mass of DDT produced equals moles of DDT times molar mass of DDT, which is equals 1166 gram per mole. Question 2 Part E. What mass of excess reactant is left over? The excess reactant is chlorobenzene. The next step is to relate moles of limiting reactant, chloral, to excess moles of chlorobenzene. These are moles of chloral that will react with 10.15 moles of chlorobenzene. Therefore, excess moles of chlorobenzene equals 10.15 moles minus 6.58 moles, which is equal to 3.57 moles. Mass of chlorobenzene left over equals 3.57 moles times 112.55 grams per mole equals 402 grams. Question 2 Part F. If the actual yield of DDT is 200 grams, what is the percent yield? Percent yield is equal to actual yield divided by theoretical yield times 100 which is equal to 17.2%.